Welcome to Cisco Intersight Infrastructure Services. Cisco Intersight is a cloud-based management, orchestration, and analytics platform for UCS, Hyperflex, and third-party infrastructure. It provides a single pane of glass and consistent operations model and experience for managing systems and solutions. Let's check out how to get started in just three easy steps. First, get your Cisco ID. Second, set up your Intersight account. And third, claim a device. To begin using Cisco Intersight, you need a valid Cisco ID. If you don't have a Cisco ID, you can create one by going to intersight.com and clicking on the link to create a Cisco ID. Once you have your Cisco ID, you'll need to create an Intersight account. Click on Create an Account. Read the description and select I accept to accept the offer and click Next. Enter a name for your new Intersight account and click Create. When logging into a newly created account, we are greeted with an Intersight welcome page that provides an overview video and some helpful how-to information. Let's first enable the trial license for Intersight. Note that if you already have paid licenses or decide at any time to purchase paid licenses, we also have a help video available that walks through the step-by-step -step process of activating paid licenses. Click on Start Free Intersight Trial in the middle of the page. On the licensing page, click Start Trial. In the pop-up, select Intersight and click Start, which will activate the trial license period of 90 days. To navigate back to the welcome page, click on the help or question mark icon in the upper right hand corner and click on welcome and Intersight general. Now we're ready to claim our first target. To learn how to claim a target, click on claim a new target and follow the on-screen steps. Click on administration and targets. Click Claim a New Target. Select the type of target that will be added. In this example, we will add a Cisco UCS domain using UCS Manager. Then click Start. In order to claim a target, and to ensure from a security perspective that you have proper authority to do so, we will need to obtain the device ID and claim code from the target directly. In UCS Manager, you can find the Device Connector information under the Admin tab and then click on Device Connector. For standalone C-Series UCS servers, you can find this information within the CIMC Management Interface under Admin, then Device Connector. For Hyperflex systems, you can find this information within HX Connect in the Settings menu under Device Connector. On the Device Connector page, we can see that this particular UCS domain is in a not claimed state, which means we can go ahead with the claim process. Note that the device connector is associated with the management interface for the target, and this interface will need to be configured with outbound access via port 443 to the internet in order to be claimed in Intersight. If from a security perspective this is not possible in your organization, consider looking at the on-prem Intersight virtual appliance option instead. Now to claim our target, we'll simply copy the device ID from UCS Manager and paste into Intersight. Next, we'll copy the claim code from UCS Manager as well and paste into Intersight. Once completed, click Claim.
If successful, you should now see your target showing as connected within Intersight, and notice the additional options that have been added in the left-hand main menu. Because we've added an infrastructure target, we now see the Intersight Infrastructure Services capabilities that are available in the menu. Also, if you look at the status of the device connector in UCS Manager, it should now show as claimed. So that's a quick look at how to get started with Cisco Intersight. If you want to learn more, there are a few great options available. First, you can navigate to the end product guided help located in the upper right hand corner. I highly recommend checking out the site tour, which will give you a complete overview of the Intersight UI and the options available. Second, we have an online help and documentation site with information on every single aspect of Intersight. You can navigate to this through the help section of the UI or go to intersight.com help.